All right, guys, we're out here today. It is hot summer day in Texas. We got a, uh, let me get this out of here. We're gonna be doing a homemade body armor test. I got three, three diamond concrete saw blades along with some rubber matting in between them. We're gonna test out and see what rounds we can stop with it. Homemade plate carrier there because low budget, low effort. And then uh, I couldn't find any volunteers that let me test it. So we got a melon behind it today to show any kinetic force. What do you think this is gonna do? I really don't know. It's kind of a gamble, it's a toss up. I think, I think we're gonna get to rifles and I think the 5.56 five, is gonna punch through with the green tip. I don't know if we're getting past 5.56. Five, five, Starting off as always, 22 first. Targets way down there. All right, first shot, 22. Hit right about there. Nothing happened to our watermelon as expected. I uh, more than likely just stopped right there on the front of it. I don't even think that actually, that didn't even make it through the mat. No, the rubber I put in there, that didn't even go through the rubber. That's stuck in the rubber somewhere right there. That didn't even go through the rubber. <laughs> 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 I guess nine mils up next. Next up, nine millimeter out of the cam nine. We chamber. Nope. There we are. Let's see if we can at least get through the rubber and start hitting the metal. Is it off safe? No. No God! No, God, please, no, no! So, Cam 9's having a little bit of an issue. Uh, we're gonna get that fixed, and instead, I'm just gonna take a shot with the SIG Legion. Uh, I'm gonna shoot it close, though, because I'm not gonna waste all my ammo trying to hit a target 75 yards away. All right. I think, yeah, I hit right here. So I definitely hit it at least one time. Uh, that plate is dented. I'm not gonna pull it out, but that is a dent. How did this do? Our watermelon's good. The good old cowboy gun, my John Wayne special. Uh, plus P ammo as well, I forgot to mention. It's. A little bit hotter, 38 special than normal. All right, I'm done hiking through the jungle to get to my target. Let's see if I'm a bad shot with the 38. Uh, do, do, do. I might be a bad shot with the 38. I don't know. Is that the hole there? That might be it right there. All right, so I found uh, where the spot where the 38 hit. 38 special hit right about there. As you can tell, it's holding up pretty good. It is a lot of metal it's gonna have to try to make it through though. The same gun, my Marlin 357, and we're actually gonna be utilizing some 357 ammo this time. See if we can make a bigger dent than that nine mil did. All right, 357 hit right there. And um, I think it uh, I think it made a dent. Let's see if our volunteer's doing good. Eight is doing just fine. So if you got three concrete blades and you strap them on, 357 will uh, definitely not get through it. And the Ruger 40 cal out of Pup's carving over here. 
see if we can put a bigger dent in it than that 357 did. Right here behind you. Forty cal hit right there. Let's see what our plate's looking like. All right. Hey, pup. That is the three fifty seven. There's your forty. That's the thirty eight. No, that's the three. The thirty eight special right here. And that's the nine. It's your forty. That's still hot. <laughs> hey, my spalling guard's working pretty good. <laughs> all right, all right. We got Monarch two and three quarter double op buck going. Or we actually, yeah, we got that going first, and then we have a three inch, one ounce slug going afterwards. All right, buck shot sending off first. I'm going to throw it on safe. In sand. Next up, one ounce slug. Oop. So, I'm thinking we hit there. Give me just a sec, we'll get that out. Our uh, volunteer seems to be doing just fine. I guess that's just acting more as a backstop. And go ahead and hold that for me, bud. Oh my. Oh my. One sec. You ready? That's fing hot. That's really hot. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's cool. Uh, here's our plate. And I'm guessing we hit right about there. You think? We have cracked that first one a couple times. There is a dent going through, but shit's good. Tip AR15 AR green tip round, 556. Five, oh, if I can talk today. Oh. I moved it to where, okay, I can see it right here. All right. All right. So 5.56 five, green tip hit right there where we got a smoke uh, trail coming out of. And uh, it we blew straight out that other side there, guys. Uh, so concrete blades will not stop you from a 5.56 green tip. Uh, I did hit it on the edge. Let me take another shot and see if I can hit it maybe a little bit more of a better squared spot. All right, second try, green tip 5.56. See if we can hit it in a better spot, but uh, man, I really think this is just gonna smoke right through everything. I saw shit move. I think that's going right through. I see watermelon fly back. That's <laughs> all right. Let's go find out. All right, I'm walking up and I already see pieces of our victim. Oh no. Oh yeah. Clean hit from the five five six right there and. That blew a hole straight through it. Well, but uh, we're still gonna hit it with a 30-06 trace around because it sounds cool. Oh.
So, 30 out six tracer round hit. Um, guessing right about there. And our volunteer is not doing too well, it looks like. Oh, let's see here. Uh, 30 out six went in there. And, uh, that is going to be our exit hole for that. Holy cow. So, if you were in a bind, three concrete saws and some rubber mat, it'd stop all pistol rounds, but you get into those rifle rounds and you're going to have an issue in the end of the day.